Hey everybody, it's Crystal with FrameTheAlphabet.com. Thanks for tuning in today with our DIY. I've got Deanne with me. Hey guys. Um, she's going to be showing us how to um, make these cool little um, cork stands that can hold your pictures. Um, um, you know, anything you need it for, you can hold your kids' pictures or our unframed photo prints. And that's what we're going to be showing you today. Uh, be sure to check into our live video here. You can post questions. Um, you can comment, and we've got it streaming live here that we can answer those for you. So, real quick, what we're going to um, show you is the supplies that you're going to need today. Of course, you're going to need your wine corks. Um, anybody that's got these lying around has probably been waiting right. for a project to do with these. Um, if you don't have any, you can always pick them up at your local craft store as well. Um, you'll need some 14 gauge wire, is that right? Correct, yeah, there's all sorts of colors you can get. So. Um, Decide what you want to do with your project and pick the best color that works yeah, for that. Yeah, like black and yeah, rose I, gold and all sorts of colors you can choose for I, these. I did like the, the copper color. That was my favorite. Yeah, but, yeah. And yeah. so um, we chose the 14 gauge. I think yeah. you can also do like a 12 gauge as well. Uh, needle nose pliers, some scissors, and a hot glue gun. And I think that's all we need to get started. Um, so Deanne's going to go ahead and show us how to um, get started. Now one thing I noticed um, with the corks is you can choose um, the wine side out um, or the the um, I guess what would you call it? the outside yeah of the cork. yeah, yeah. Um, you want to stand them up to make sure um, you get them evenly because some some corks are not even so um, you want to make sure the bottoms are flat yeah and in this case it benefited us to have the the wine show um, because the color that we used was the burgundy wine color ribbon. Yeah. Uh, so I say let's grab some corks. Okay. You got yours? Yeah, and okay. you know, you can take a look what you like. They have different designs on them depending on, I guess, where they're made or what they're used for. So yeah. um, I've got mine. Okay. Um, really, it's, it's quite simple. Just grab, um, you can grab one of the corks and you're going to, let's say cork, I think, the corks, yeah. um, and just put a dot. Okay. And and right in the middle, and there's a reason for that. Okay. And you can put quite a bit. Just go crazy. Okay. All right. Um, fine. So Be then, careful with those hot glue guns. Yep. Yeah, grab, keeping the wine color at the same spot. Go ahead and grab the other cork. Okay. And then start piling them up. Okay. Like that. I'm gonna set mine down to level it. Yep. Yeah, because these two are not the same height, so I'm gonna actually level those up. Okay. So I've got two together. Oh, you've already got your third one. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're fast. Okay. I'm motivated. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now that I have my two together, what yeah. if I just put a dot in the middle? Or? Correct. Okay. Yeah. It's funny because people ask us, you know, uh, all the time, you know, what what are some of the things they could be doing with uh, the unframed photo prints that we sell? Um, and we've actually come up with quite a few things, but uh, yeah. this is one of my favorite. I think this is super cute. Yeah. I like that. And totally customizable too because really you can choose any type of ribbon that you want. You can have twine. Um, you can use them for all sorts of things. Okay, I've got mine together. Okay. Um, I think you chose a ribbon that you like. Yeah. I'm going to stick with the, the red that we used uh, for the one that's in the sample. And mine is a little, um, it's like a mint green. It's about a half inch. Um, it's got some like little ruffles on the side there so you can see. So. I actually am going to do mine a little differently. Um, okay. How are you going to wrap yours, Dean? Um, in this case, we wrapped it, uh, I think it's about three times because it's a thinner ribbon and we wanted, um, you know, I could have used a thicker ribbon, but I like the, the wrap look. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So and once it's kind of good and set up, it's, um, I'm going to actually only wrap mine around once. Um, just because it's a thicker ribbon and it has the ruffles on the side. Um, so I really like the look of it being wrapped around one time. So I'm going to glue mine down. I like how that matches your sweater. I, I know. <laughs> I jacket. just realized, yeah, it really is my favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> At least right now. Okay. So I'm going to wrap that around. Okay. That looks good. So you're, you're using the glue. Um, I'm That's just right. tying mine, so it's super simple. So um, yeah, I glued mine down. And then um, I'm going to put another dot of glue to hold it. <clears throat> you could easily tie it the way that Deanne did too, right? I mean, right. And in this case, I just used a knot. I didn't want to, um, you could use a bow, uh, but I like the look of just having that. And then, of course, don't forget to cut your ribbon at an angle. Oh, I 
love how that turned out. So, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. All right. So that was the easy part. That now, was easy. Yeah, as far <laughs> as the wires go, we've, we've created some templates um, for ourselves. So if you need, if you have three pictures or, or more or anything more than one, I would recommend do a template and then don't stick it in your quirks just yet. Just create mm -hmm. each one so that they're all the same. Otherwise they'll gotcha. look... Uh, yeah, you kind of want them to be the same yeah. height and stuff, right? Right, same. with the same curl gotcha. on it. So again, I, I'm going to show that because it's kind of, it's hard to explain. Mm -hmm. um, now the so, wire that Deanne has is not quite as pliable as the wire that I have. Um, so she's going to show us how to bend that wire. Um, whereas with this one, uh, I, I can just use my hands, right? Yeah, it's that absolutely. easy. Yeah, okay. I gave you the easy stuff. <laughs> well, you're the expert. So... <laughs> so Use the use the curvature in the wire um, for your benefit, and I just I just start to curl it in. You're gonna have to move it around. Yeah, and the good news is is that if it doesn't look right the very first time, you can always just rebend it and and just reshape it. Um, this may be my fifth one, but that's okay. <laughs> just practice. That's right. So I'm kind of going along with the template there. <clears throat> Let's see. So when you have, and this one is not so good. Let's see. Okay. So there's mine. It's not quite the same, but again, you can re-bend it or reshape it as needed. Um, you basically want that loop in the middle to be, yeah, you know, there so you can hold your photo. So I'm gonna cut mine. I guess. Are you done already? Again, she's so fast. Okay. Got it. Perfect. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, what's okay. next? So once you have, again, like I said, if you're doing three or more than one, pardon me, if you're doing more than one, definitely get all your wire pieces together the way you want it. Mm -hmm. um, again, some are going to look better than others, so throw away the, the, the bad ones or just keep reapplying um, uh, to get it to the shape you need. So, all right, this is really hard, <laughs> this part. Take your, take your corks more glue. and then just put a little bit of glue at the top of the, the three. Okay. And now for mine, I wanted to be sure that where I had glued the ribbon on the cork, so that's in the back, right? Yep, exactly. Okay. All right. So Good mention. Glue in there. Okay. So then all you do is go ahead and place the wire in there. Okay. Perfect. So while those are drying, um, just some things to think about. Uh, we have champagne corks. Um, Ooh, I love these. They're, I like them because yeah. they have a little more personality as far as if you want just a different shape. Um, you can even like mix them up with the, the, but you can the do three that as, we just did. Yeah, you so. can do these as a standalone too, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You don't even have to do three together. You could actually... Um, just put a wire in a single one of these and it will hold it up. Yeah. And how would you go about doing that, do you think? Okay, you so the trick with these is, as we just said, you can move this wire around with your hands. Um, so if you were to try and push it in the cork, it's just gonna bend out of shape. So if some of you guys have this, um, it's an awl, so it's a really uh, pointy tool. You can use a nail, but please, please be careful. Yeah. Um, sitting on a table, and we've got a cutting mat here. Um, I'm just going to put the awl right in the middle and just kind of press down. Cork, okay. is, cork is soft, so you don't gotcha. you really don't have to push hard. Yeah. Um, so once you get that You're just basically pre-making the hole yeah. there for your cork, I see. And, and actually, here, try try that one. Okay. Um, oh, that is heavy. Yeah. That, That's heavy duty. It's very sharp. So um, in this case, because it's going into the cork, um, you really don't need to put glue. Oh, yeah, uh, I would point. just say, um, just oh. depending on the longevity of how you, of this project. Mm -hmm. um, now you see how it kind of the stem is uh, higher. You can either twist your wire, or let's get crazy, and uh, I'm going to grab some thicker ribbon. Okay. You can do this with me. Okay. So with the thicker ribbon. Okay. I'm just going to tie it around the top. Oh, okay. 
Oh, to hide that little stem. Is yeah. That what we're doing? Got yeah. it. And just decorate it. Little touch to it. You know, I was thinking with Christmas, mm -hmm. if I would take either maybe some holly, holly leaves and berries, and put that here. Oh, nice. Yeah. Along with ribbon, that would be really pretty. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Got it. <laughs> How pretty. That one. Yeah. That looks a lot better than mine. There we go. So. I like that. Actually. Yeah, that really does give you a lot of versatility because you can you can do the three corks together or the, the champagne cork and the ribbons and it just right. makes it mine's personal. A, mine's a, a half bow. I like that. <laughs> so again, cool. make make the project your your own. So again, with our unframed uh, photo prints that we have, uh, you can make um, spell out your name. Uh, For our purpose, we spelled out um, joy with our unframed photo prints, mm -hmm. uh, which you can find at framethealphabet.com anytime. And also what we really liked is, um, so if at weddings, you know, mm -hmm. you have the, the numbers on the tables. Uh, this could be super classy. Yes. Um, oh, with, your, with your wedding color. Oh, I love that idea. Yeah, and match so. the ribbon to your um, wedding color. You know what, this was one of my wedding colors. So oh, I like that. I love it. Yeah. So. How cool. There you go. Yeah. Um, there you can are, stick your kids' pictures on there. We have some up here. Yeah, in our stationery, um, stationery. with our, it, it spells out love, but we went ahead and put um, our stationery card because you could put a greeting card uh, that you receive for your birthday or Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. As well, I, I just wanted to show one more trick, though. Um, by accident, there was some broken cork, and we really like that design. So with the same steps that, with the champagne cork, um, with those same steps, sorry, <laughs> um, take the awl and go ahead and, and make a hole for the, the wire. Mm -hmm. and do we have an extra wire? There's this one. That one. that one. Okay. So stick the wire in there, but because it's a wine cork, it's really light. Mm -hmm. um, so I've actually just brought in a penny that I would weight it down with. So with more glue. And what's neat is, see, hers is broken at a little more at the top, and this one's kind of broken almost like in half, so it's a little yeah. bit shorter, but it gives it a totally different, like, dynamic and look. I, I love the texture of it. Yeah, So, um, again, fix the wire to how you need it. Mm -hmm. um, I would add a, a ribbon to that. I'd probably add a, a really nice thick ribbon on that. Um, but don't forget, you can use twine, uh, different kinds of strings. I think we've mentioned that. Um, there's all sorts of things you can do, so yeah. just have fun with it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Don't forget um, to check in next time um, for our next DIY. Um, we'll be um, showing you another way to use our unframed um, photos, and um, you can check that out. We'll have templates on the site um, for you to look at, and you're welcome to come back and check this video out any time and post some questions, and we'll be glad to answer those for you if you run into something. Um, be sure to check out our website, framethealphabet.com, um, for our specials that are going on. And thanks so much, Deanne. I really appreciate yeah, you being no, with me today. Good. This was a lot of fun. Again, um, very versatile. And just make it your own. Great. Okay. Have Bye a guys. good day, guys.